Hey everyone, this is Adrian's Digital Basement. So I'm back with a real quick video to talk about the field found Commodore 64 again. Today we're going to just look at the RF modulator one more time. In the last video you might have seen I had tested the RF modulator but there was no sound output. There were some really good suggestions on how to fix this and one of them was a really simple fix and let's just see if this works. So for testing let's load up the same SidBurner 7 disk as I used on the last video. All right, so we definitely have sound coming out of my 1084, or rather 2002 monitor. Turn the volume up and down. But the volume is up on the TV, and we're not hearing anything, obviously, so we're still having the exact same problem. One of the things that someone suggested was perhaps having the AV cable connected disables the audio on the RF output. I'm 99.9% .9 sure that is not the case, but just for completeness, let's unplug the AV cable here to the 2002 and see what happens to the audio. So just as I thought, we have the volume turned up here and there's absolutely no audio still. People had suggested that perhaps the adjustment in the RF modulator had caught out a little bit, which would cause the audio carrier frequency to not be in the right spot for the TV to pick up. I don't know that much about RF, but I thought that perhaps if that was the case, Maybe the I would just be hearing static on the TV instead of silence. Let me get rid of this cover here so we have better access. So this appears to probably be a later model RF modulator, and this right here is the only adjustment in it. So let me figure out what kind of tool I need to adjust this, and we'll give it a turn. So I looked inside with a little flashlight, and it appears to be a little tiny flat blade, and I happen to have this plastic adjustment tool here that seems to fit in there. So I'm going to reposition the camera and we're going to give it a turn. Hopefully some audio appears. All right, just to double check, volume is up on here. If I turn the volume up on the monitor here, we have music, so music is still playing. Let's give this a turn. Listen to that, static. So there's definitely an effect. Okay, <laughs> who were the people that suggested that this was the solution because you guys are experts. We now have audio on the TV. Let me see if I can get it a little clearer. Okay, if I keep turning it, then it gets quiet again, and actually so does the uh, picture starts to get distorted. But at that position right there, it's nice and loud. Let me turn it down a little bit. The volume is loud, and I'm just going to reboot the computer right now since the audio is definitely working. And let's just look at how clear the basic prompt is, because I'll be able to see any interference a lot better than here. That looks great. That looks absolutely great. Several of the suggestions besides adjusting this adjustment were to replace the capacitors inside the RF modulator. I really didn't want to do that because that would involve desoldering this entire thing. And it's really difficult because not only are the pins soldered, which are easy to get off, but the metal shielding here is also soldered onto the motherboard. This is the ground for the RF modulator. And it's really hard to get off because there's a lot of metal here and it just heat sinks and sucks away the heat from the soldering iron. So the fact that I could adjust this and fix the audio is that much better. Not to mention, that just means that I haven't replaced any components on this entire computer yet other than the one rusty fuse, which you saw in the first video, and I guess the keyboard PCB is no longer original. But I just, I want this computer to survive without replacing anything else. Well, we're back to the Legends intro song that I played in the second video because I absolutely think it's so appropriate for this old computer. Yes, it still works, and the audio you're hearing right now is actually coming out of the TV through the RF Channel 4 here in North America. So thanks again for everyone to suggest uh, who suggested that fix for the RF modulator. This computer is now working 
100%, well, at least 100% as far as I know. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate all the feedback and all the comments on the last couple videos of this computer. And like I said in the last one, this is absolutely my favorite computer I have right now. So there we have it. Thanks for watching. Uh, put your comments and questions in the comment section below. You can subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.